Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Tina. And today we're going to talk about strength training benefits. So stay tuned. Strength training benefits today. There are a lot of them. Yep, and super important as we're getting older. Yes. Oh. The importance of strength training is number one in my case, or my book, would be for bone strength. Uh -huh. um, my sister had osteopenia, and so I knew that it was probably run in the family. Blonde hair, blue eyes usually have tendencies and small frame tendencies for osteoporosis. <laughs> you want to have strong bones and I have had my bone density tested just within the last couple of years and mm -hmm. they said it was good A-OK. -okay. They said I had a 90% chance of not breaking a bone when I fall. That's a very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cindy? <laughs> I, well, obviously that's important as you get older, but I think I'm in it more for the muscle mass and the... Which is what? What does it... Well, the muscle mass helps keep your body stable as you're, wor as you're walking, working, whatever. Uh, if you trip, like my mom just tripped a little while back and wound up breaking her shoulder in six places. Oh Ouch. my gosh, yeah. Uh, I want to be strong enough that I can catch myself in those situations or maybe not have that happen at all. It just happens sometimes. Yeah. I, mean, I trip all well, the time. What? Well, yeah, I have a broken toe. <laughs> I know. Well, I don't think it actually was broken, but I have a very sore yes. toe to prove yes. that. And I have it on video too. <laughs> That's right, you do. I do. <laughs> For the rest of my life. Yeah, and one time I was just walking out in my backyard wasn't paying attention where I was going and fell into my hot tub halfway. <laughs> so I was like really boogered up from my waist down. <laughs> things happen, but it's so important to have strong muscles in order to catch things like that. Not only that, but you want to be able to reach down and pick up your grandkids. Squat or, down, get up without making yeah. grunting noises yeah. or while making grunting noises. Either way. <laughs> I think I make the grunting noises either way. Yeah, really. that's true. But yeah, bone density for sure. Well, and and uh, strength and also balance. Oh yeah, balance. Balance. It, it has helps. a lot to do with all of that. Yeah, I mean, if you can, you know, stand on one leg or whatever uh -huh. because you're, you're strong enough and going up and down stairs, you know, you need strong glutes to do that. Yep. All yep. kinds of stuff. And, uh, and flexibility. Yes. And I think uh, they all run into... I well, think flexibility all... does not come with strength training. No, it doesn't, but it's important to... Get flexibility. Right. Because you have better range of motion as well. And if you happen to fall, like I did in the hot tub, I think that's one of the things that saved me <laughs> because I was pretty flexible and yeah. my legs could go like that without... <laughs> Without, without tearing a muscle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Muscle, torn muscles are just as bad. Oh, as sore muscles. Terrible, terrible. But I think all four of those go hand in hand mm -hmm. as you age to help you age more, help make your body more healthy. And <clears throat> there's a lot of ways to keep up with things like that with strength training, and we have a few. Um, we have a few props here <laughs> for uh, for exercising because if you can't get to a gym or you don't want to spend the mm -hmm. money on a gym, you can do a lot of things at home and it doesn't have to be weightlifting, um, although that's better because again, the benefits of, of muscle mass is longevity. They say that's the fountain of youth. Yes. The people who have more muscle mass live longer. Right. So if you want to live longer, if you don't, well then don't live down. <laughs> But I want to live longer. I, I want to see my grandkids get married. That's that's one of the benefits as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah. I always forget about that. I have heard that. Longevity. So if you're if you have a Oh wait, we forgot the most important one. What? Muscle burns fat. Oh <laughs> yes. So you can run and do your cardio and I don't know if you guys have ever tracked it. You run and you get you burn like a hundred calories or oh something, my or two hundred maybe for six you know six miles or whatever. But if you weight lift, 
You don't have to, you weight lift and then it burns all day long because they're building and, and breaking apart and building back up again. Yeah, <laughs> one of the things that really made me think hard about that is I watched this guy, I think he was on Instagram or YouTube or somewhere, and he wanted to eat a Whopper so bad. So he's like, <laughs> I'm gonna eat a Whopper and then I'm gonna run until I burn it off. Yeah, until I burn oh. all the calories Isn't off. Isn't that like 800 calories or more? He ran eight hours. <laughs> and he said, I will never eat a Whopper thinking I'm gonna burn it off again. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> so I was like, geez Louise, you can't out exercise a, a diet. bad diet. Yeah, <laughs> which, yeah. Which goes back to our whole nutrition thing as well. You can't eat whatever you want thinking you're just going to go exercise it off yeah. because exactly. it ain't going to happen. you got to yeah. eat in a calorie deficit if you want to lose weight. We're just going to throw that in there. <laughs> calorie deficit. All right. Let's show some of our equipment we have. Okay. <clears throat> so there are several just little things that we use in our home gyms. This is one of them. Yeah. These are bands that come in... What's this, this one? Is a a light. medium? Oh, light. This one's light. Oh, so there's extra light, light, medium, heavy, and extra heavy. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. And there we have go. these linked um, up down below in our store. We have an Amazon store, and we have one whole section that's gym equipment. We so this one is good. I've tried to use it on my legs, and it just kind of rolls up on your legs. So it's really better for yeah. arms. So doing, I think that, go ahead. doing this, Sorry. and you can use this in combination with other exercises you're doing, like squats or whatever. See, I'm already out of breath. And double them <laughs> up, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, you this is just them. a light one. You can use an two extra heavy together. or a two, yeah, however you want to use it. But, you know, any kind of, these kind of bands, this, uh, what do you call it, neoprene, is it? Or it's rubber. Rubber. Yeah. They're going to twist. They're yeah. going to, no matter what. But... Sometimes you just gotta suck it up because, <laughs> yeah. because they're so good. I did a whole, on my Instagram, a whole glute exercise using just bands and oh. that hurt. And that was <laughs> sore the next day. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you just have to kind of mess with them and, you know, figure it out. There's a ton of exercises on YouTube using things like this. So you just look it up, resistance bands and... Yeah. And you, you find it. And eventually we will make some videos using some of this equipment. Not All right. today. Junior. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Here, hold in. <laughs> this is a cloth one that will not roll on you, but no. it's pretty... <clears throat> the cloth ones are pretty stiff. They're meant for legs. Yes. And so you put these around your, over above your knees or maybe right below, maybe at your ankles and you can do squats with them. You can do hip thrusts. You can do bridges. You can do what? Monster walks. Yeah. Monster walks is what I do a lot with these. And it's, you know, this is really. It's like an isom, and you do it that way. It's more like an isometric mm -hmm. exercise. Yeah. Yeah. They're pretty, they're very sturdy and they don't roll up. And I this am. will get you hurting, burning before you know it. And just so you know, I taught Cindy, some, Cindy something today. Oh, You'll yeah. see that there are stripes on one side and plain on the other side. The plain side is for when you're not wearing leggings. So say you have shorts on. You want this side against your legs. So against they your don't, skin. Yeah, against your skin so you don't, so it doesn't, because it doesn't slip. This one has a little bit of traction on it, you want it against your leggings. Yep, did not know that. So it Learn something move. new every day. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, what's next? Okay, one of the other things that we use that is an inexpensive option for a home gym are these tubes. And I don't know, I call them all bands. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> but this is tubes, and you, we both actually, we attached there's little hooks that you can put on your wall that you can attach these to and then you can do shoulder and back exercises mm -hmm. uh in the old days i actually stepped on them yeah you can do that and still did you can bicep, do bicep curls yeah. yeah yeah so there's a lot you can do with these too and they come in different colors different strengths yeah and then like, like what is your, oh yeah oh don't do that doesn't it your oh it's on the inside so say mine has a little 
Yeah, this one doesn't, but this oh. one does. So like this one is that supposedly is 20 pounds, 20 pounds of, of resistance. resistance. Or 9.1 kilograms. Yeah, how come your other one doesn't have I don't all know. mine do? I don't know. We will link these as well. Yep. <laughs> okay, that's all of our... So there's a lot of options to have in your home gym if that's what you're going to do. And then also important for strength training is the nutritional aspect. Yes, nutrition for sure. We kind of protein, 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 protein. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kind of talked about it in our last video, which I'll link right up here. But we're going to talk about it every video. Yes, we are because it's that important. <laughs> yeah, and the thing with nutrition is hard because if you want to lose weight, it's a tricky combination of you just got to make sure you have enough protein and you're not eating too little so that you can gain weight while lose I mean gain muscle while losing weight. Right. So you're going to have to also be careful on looking at your uh, the scale. The scale is somewhat our enemy. Ugh. Because I mean it's good because you want to know if you're losing weight, especially mm -hmm. if you have a lot of weight to lose. But it's also tricky because sometimes carbs will make you retain water. And so one day you'll think you just gained a half a pound and you'll freak out and want to cut back. No, you have to trust the process. Mm -hmm. And then the, maybe the next day those 5.5 you know, pound will go away. You have to trust the process. If you continuously eat in a calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. It's almost better not to weigh yourself. You know, it you is. Just stick to the plan. And it's hard. It's so hard. In my case, I want to weigh every single day. But I know, and it's not just a half a pound for me, Tina. I think maybe for you, but I wake up sometimes and I've gained three or four pounds. Mm -hmm. And it really just depends what I ate, what I drank. How hard you worked out. Because yeah, if you've really yeah. worked out your muscles hard, they're going to retain more water. Yes. Right. And they're going to be a little swollen. So it's really nice. So you should take, well, look at yourself in the mirror and maybe even take some pictures like with just your bra and underwear on or a bathing suit or whatever, mm -hmm. or your gym clothes where you can see most of your skin. Cause you want to be able to see, you're going to see changes before you're going to see changes on your body before you're going to probably see them in the scales and do measurement measurements measurements is what i went by yeah in the I, beginning for sure that's a good one too yeah and, and how I your had, clothes fit if you well don't that's want to what measure. i was going to say <laughs> i had some tighter jeans that i was checking out all the time <laughs> yeah i only weigh myself once a week but if you can do that that's the way to go yeah because you're just going to get frustrated weighing every day it definitely fluctuates okay so enough about the scale but the nutrition part is important the higher protein higher protein and you need the carbs for energy you do and you know what i just i this is kind of a dumb dumb thing really but i went to the gym to meet the trainer the other day and i got sick because I only had, I had a protein drink before I went to work, like immediately before I went to work out. And I thought I was going to throw up the whole time. <laughs> you had nothing else to drink? I had nothing else. Well, I had coffee. And then he's like, didn't you eat any carbs? No. Well, eat some carbs before you go to work out. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Duh. Duh. <laughs> so carbs are very important, especially yeah. if energy. you're like me. And yeah, it gives you more energy. Yeah. So the protein, if you want to gain, if you're not afraid to gain some weight, then you want to go in a surplus a little bit. You might gain some fat along with it, but you will gain some muscle. Mm -hmm. So if you don't mind getting a little bit of fluff on you, <laughs> then you can do it that way. Yeah. Otherwise, just stay at your maintenance. Just, yeah, just stay at that one. As long as you're calorie. eating enough protein, you're going to build muscle and yeah. strength training, of course. Right. So nutrition is super important while you're trying to build muscle. Yes. And I think that's what we have for today. I think that's it. <laughs> we are done. So let's yeah. flex. <laughs> can't see our muscles today. <laughs> nope. Not underneath this. So next time we will be talking about... Flexibility and balance. Very important, as we've already said. Yep. So we'll see you next time. 